According to the American Cancer Society, more than a million people in the United States are diagnosed with cancer each year. Dr. Henry Wong at Methodist Hospital discusses the advancements in cancer treatments in the last 10 years. We have seen tremendous advances in cancer medicine. Uh, cancer care really requires multidisciplinary approach, including surgery, radiation therapy, and drug therapy. Traditionally, uh, drug therapy includes chemotherapy and hormonal therapy. Uh, however, uh, now we see more and more biological therapy that is also called molecular targeting therapy. Uh, you know, with decades of extensive research, now we are harvesting the fruits. Uh, although we have not fully understood why some people develop, for example, breast cancer or lung cancer, we have identified some gene abnormalities that are important in cancer growth. Uh, this knowledge enables us to develop new therapeutic agents that specifically target these gene abnormalities. And that they are not only very effective, but cause much less harm to normal cells. There are two aspects of gene uh, abnormalities, and uh, one is hereditary. Another aspect of gene abnormalities is acquired gene mutations or rearrangements during the life. Not all cancers are the same, even if they are the same type of cancers. And uh, for example, you know, uh, one body's lung cancer is probably different from another one's lung cancer. Because of the knowledge, now we have medications that specifically target these gene abnormalities, and the results are excellent. What is happening now in cancer treatments that could make a difference? There are uh, around 20 new medications for cancer treatments approved by FDA uh, for the last two years. And the most of these medications are biologic or molecular targeting drugs. Another emerging approach is immunotherapy. And uh, that was recently approved for the treatment of metastatic prostate cancer. So basically what it is, is uh, we collect uh, immune cells from the patients, then we educate the cells uh, in the incubators, and then we infuse back those educated cells back to the patients and to let them to attack and destroy the cancer cells. Dr. Wong discusses the future for cancer treatments. It does not appear that we'll you know, discover one single magic pill that will cure everybody. Just because everybody's cancer is different. I'm very confident in the future, eventually, we will be able to figure out you know, why this particular individual developed the cancer and what's, what's you know, driving the cancer, and uh, so we can actually, you know, uh, you know block, you know, the, the driving, you know, mechanism, and, uh, you know, eventually we'll be able to cure uh, 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 the cancer, and uh, as we did, I mean, for infectious disease, I mean, decades ago.